The desert lands of Earth can be deceiving. Whether it's beauty masked behind a rough exterior, or lethal danger behind alluring beauty, the scenery and wildlife has mastered the art of survival through trickery. So what I found here is a snake that is uh, in um, this mesquite bush. I'm just going to go ahead and, oh man, I missed. Grab it by its tail. But it's moving along here now. <laughs> Got him by the tail, but he's not he's not coming. See? I got him. Just a little coach whip. You can see he's been trying to bite me. He's still pretty upset. Whew, not a bad catch. The coach whip snake can be found in desert flats, dunes, foothills, and desert grasslands. And it never hesitates to bite if captured. The coach whip is in the colubrid family and constricts its prey, which includes rodents, birds, insects, and other reptiles, including rattlesnakes. So here we have the uh, coach whip snake. As it gets a little bit older, it'll get a little more red to its color, known locally as the red racer. These snakes are very fast, very quick to hide, very skittish. And because of that, they're, they can be somewhat aggressive. It bit me in the finger, bit me in the sleeve as soon as I caught it. And you saw that it tried to bite my windscreen uh, on my microphone just because they are so skittish but that's the way they react when they're encountered their first instinct is to book it and they can move pretty quick if they're caught captured they begin just aggressively striking biting trying to get away they're not venomous they're colubrids as I mentioned earlier they will constrict their prey whether it's a lizard whether it's a mouse um, until it cannot breathe and then they'll swallow it whole. Uh, they're predated on by larger raptors, um, kestrels, uh, ravens, but they're, they're pretty neat little guys, very skittish. Their coloration is kind of drab when they're young like this, but they get very bright red as they get older. Very cool little snake. I'm sure he's just watching me waiting for the right moment to get away. If biting doesn't succeed, the coach whip will play dead. This one even managed to summon a fly to its aid in a grand attempt to trick me into leaving it alone. Its subtle movements, however, 
betrayed its deceitful trick, and instead I took the opportunity to get a close-up. I looked this deceiver in the eye, and it couldn't hold back the truth that it was very much alive. Speaking of its eyes, that large round pupil tells me that it is active in the daylight hours, a diurnal snake. In contrast, a nocturnal snake will have a long vertical pupil, which opens wide at night. You know that figures, uh, right as I was taking off my, my macro lens from my camera, uh, man, he bolted that little racer and he got through some brush and right down into a hole and so I don't get a close on this one. Not with him at least. Well, that's the red racer for you. Quick, skittish, occasionally aggressive. Until next time, I'm Miguel Caldera. Get out and enjoy your hunt for nature. Snakes have long been associated with deceit and this one lived up to the reputation behaving so docile that I let down my guard so that it can make a quick escape. An ancient proverb says, Like a madman who throws firebrands, arrows, and death is the man who deceives his neighbor and says, I was only joking.